um, we continue to have a lot of uh, poachers coming into our parks every day. So we cannot stop uh, trying to bring in uh, whatever um, that can help us um, to deal with the problem because at the end of the day, uh, this is a problem that we eventually uh, must win. We cannot allow you know, uh, criminals to win this uh, war and um, you know, wipe out our rhino in, in the country. So much is said these days about militarization of rangers. Should they be militarized or not? But nobody offers a solution. What must we do with the escalating incursions of poachers into the park? Coming into the park illegally from South Africa and from neighboring countries, plundering our resources repeatedly and exiting again. We are not suggesting at the sand parks that this must be force on force that anti-poaching units and counter-poaching measures will solve the problem. That is only part of the problem. While this is happening on our beat, while the incursions continue, there's a 30% increase this year, we've got to have rangers that protect our resources. We have rules of engagement. We go according to rules of engagement. We are not ignorant at all about the law. We're not ignoring any legislation or regulation that guides our uh, mandate in the park. We must arrest poachers. In that process, you have armed incursions, and often when the arrest is to be effected, the poachers resist not only physically, but try and shoot rangers. What we add today to the capacity of an anti-poaching unit is just to make the rangers more effective and to avoid a shooting incident. Um, as CEO of Molkor, we have identified ourselves as well as concerned citizens of South Africa with the plight against the uh, rhinoceros. Um, we felt that, yes, we need to do something. We know uh, the problem for the last few years, and therefore we, we approached Sandbox and said, we've got, we think we can help in terms of the solution. The solution that we uh, offer today is a, a UBGL, or Under Barrel Grenade Launcher, which is a complement to the, to the main weapon system of which uh, we use uh, as rangers um, from Sandparks in terms of assault rifles and so forth. The UBGL is exactly what it says. It's an Under Barrel Grenade Launcher. As you can see, it attaches to a normal uh, assault rifle, in this case a R4. Uh, the Rangers use uh, R1 and any other rifle that's got the Picatinny rail uh, at the bottom. This is what it looks like. It's a very simple device. What it does is um, it takes 40 millimeter ammunition, uh, less lethal. Uh, the less lethal gives us, uh, as the General has uh, pointed out, gives you the capability to shoot different uh, type of uh, uh, ammunition that can help the specific operation. This 40mm grenade launcher, as aggressive as it looks, come out with non-lethal ammunition. We don't have any lethal ammunition that you will shoot that is a, a grenade that explodes. It comes with tear gas. It comes as a stunt grenade that has small pieces of rubber that hurt you. That will avoid poachers hiding in the bush and that will prevent the necessity of the rangers exposing themselves and going to the bush after purchase. It also fires a smoke grenade and that is helpful when you must bring in your helicopters and your reaction force to do target indication. That is why we will be deploying the system in the park. I think what is important is that uh, we tell the poachers that uh, it's dangerous to go into the Kruger National Park. One of two things will happen. You're going to get arrested and spend the rest of your life in jail. Uh, through some of the equipment uh, that we have. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is that, um, you know, we have tightened our security within. Uh, so the, once you get in, it becomes very difficult for you to leave. And that is why we have to, we have to um, when we have the security initiatives, let them know so that uh, they also, because remember, those who are being recruited are just the level one. Mm -hmm. And if people see uh, the kind of equipment and effort that we're keeping in there, they wouldn't like to risk, to risk uh, their limbs and lives as well.